hey and welcome to my channel it's an absolute pleasure to have you watching my video tonight i'm super excited that you clicked on please stay on and watch the video right through to the end um it's nice video i'm going to be talking to you guys about the oberla app and using it to drop ship from aliexpress to shopify so you you may have heard about oberla before and you may have heard about drop shipping of course and you want to start drop shipping from aliexpress to shopify but you're not really sure um how the app works how the oberla app works so that's what I'm about to show you in this video, um, a detailed tutorial on how it works uh, from start to finish. So basically you want to go ahead and have your Shopify store ready and you want to go to the app store and install the Oberla app. Um, I actually want you to install the Oberla app from the Shopify store and I also want you to install it from the Google Chrome extension store, Google Chrome web store. All right, so you have your Shopify store, you wanna to go to uh, your domain name that myshopify.com slash admin slash apps. Then you want to click on visit app store. It's going to take you to the app store. Then you want to search for the Oberlo app, right? Oberlo, 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 however you want to pronounce it. You want to search for the app and you want to get it installed in your Shopify store. Um, once you have the app installed, it will show up in your apps here. Um, once you click on it, it's going to take you to your app dashboard here. And this is where everything happens as it relates to importing products uh, from AliExpress to your Shopify store. So I'm about to show you that in a minute, but I'm, before I do that, I'm going to show you how to install it from Google Chrome Web Store. So you want to go to chrome.google.com slash web store uh, dot category uh, slash extensions. Then you want to type Oberlo. And um, once that comes up, you want to click on it and you want to add it to Chrome. Once you click add to Chrome, you're going to get this uh, icon right here. Um, so once that's installed, you're all set and you're ready to go. Um, you may be required to sign in with an email and a password, of course, and to get everything synced and organized. So go ahead and sign up um, if you're prompted to do so. And once you have everything set up, um, then you're basically ready uh, to go. So once you have that installed and you click on it from your Shopify store, you will be landed on your dashboard. Once you're on the dashboard, you will see orders in process, notifications, date ranges, sales if there are any, and overview. All right, so that's the default page uh, that you will land on. Um, what Oberlo does well is that it basically allows you to import products, add products to your Shopify store easily with just the click of a button and a couple of editing, a little bit of editing. Um, and it also tracks inventory for you from AliExpress. It tracks price changes for you from AliExpress. So once you have those set up, there's nothing to really worry about as it relates to your Shopify inventory and um, the products being uh, stable in your Shopify store. All right, so basically this is the dashboard that we're on. Then in this section, you can search products. Um, you can add products to import list, and then you can see the products that are listed in your store, right? So you basically add products to import list. Then this is where you can edit the products, change prices, do whatever you want from inside the Oberla app. Once that's done, then push the items to the store and those items gets added to my products, right? Here is where you'll see orders if you have any and in this section you'll see notifications if you have any down below you can go to settings watch some videos in this help section read about barrel in this section if you click you go to your store of course your storefront and you can change some settings around global pricing changes etc but uh, for this video I'm just gonna focus on importing products uh, to your stores uh, changing price uh, etc so basically what you want to do is to go where it says search products you want to click on that once you click on search products, um, basically you can search for any category of products that you want to install, you want to import to your Shopify store, all right? So it's very, very easy uh, to do, all right? So when this loads, I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done in a couple of seconds, how I can import products to my um, uh, Shopify store. Um, you do need a Shopify store, and I keep stressing this. If you don't have a Shopify store, um, I have a video showing you in detail how to create and set up a Shopify store. That's our link in the cards above and in the description as well. Um, uh, there will be a link in the description as well where you can sign up for a 14 days free trial of Shopify. So click on that and get your free trial. All you need to do is basically, once you click on the link, you will land on this page. You just enter an email address, click get started, answer a couple of questions, and then you can basically set up your Shopify store in a couple of a minutes or maybe you run about an hour or so all right so this is loading for me to search for a couple of products and import them just to show you exactly how it's done so i'm just going to search for watches all right once i click on watches 
what you'll see uh, here is that I get a list of watches and I can basically just, as you can see here, when I hover, uh, this option comes up for me to add it to import list. So if I wanted to sell this watch in my store, I could just add it to import list. And as you can see here in this uh, tab, it says import list. I can click on that. Then I can edit the title as I see fit. I can add it to collections that I've set up in my Shopify store. I can add tags that I've created for my Shopify store as well, so it goes to the right tags. Then I can edit description. I can add some trust uh, seals if I want. Uh, in variance, this is where you change prices. So I can change the prices all at once, or I can change them individually if I want. If I want to change all the prices, I just click change all prices, set a new value. It's going to cost me about $3.50, so I might sell this for $9.99. I can apply that, and I can set a compare price as well for, say, $19.95. And click that. Basically, that's it. Once that's done, I can just push this item to my shop. That item has been pushed to my shop. So if I was supposed to go to products and search for that item, then I will find that item in my list of products. So let me just show you quickly what it would look like um in my shopify store so this is the item i just pushed to my shop i'm just going to click on it and view it in store just to show you that we just to click off a couple of buttons this item was added to my store with all the variants um all the, the images and colors and um of course you would edit your description and stuff uh for it to look um, more like an actual listing like this so you'll add, add your trust seal uh, change your description, add some guarantees, uh, etc. So that's method number one. The next method is to actually go to AliExpress, and this works when you have the Chrome extension installed. And I could basically just go to watches again, all right, Julian watches, and I go, could go to mechanical watches for men. Um, what you will see here is that some of these products will be highlighted in green, and these these are based on the settings that I have in my Oberlo. Uh, Chrome extensions. I have it on e packet for United States US dollars. So these meet the criteria, so these are highlighted. So I could easily just click on any one of these products. And as you can see here, it was added to my import list. I can open my import list, um, change titles, description again, variants, prices, images, etc. Et and then I can easily push these items to my store. So once I have the items pushed to my store, as you can see here, I can go back. In this section, click on my products, and I can see all the items that I've pushed to my store. So from here, I can make more changes if I so desire. Um, it will give me information. As you can see, it's a product is gone from AliExpress. So if the product is no longer on AliExpress, Shopify removes it, removes it from your store. It gives you a notification to remove it from your store as well. Another thing that uh, Oberla does well is that it tracks inventory. I think I mentioned that earlier and it track price changes from the AliExpress uh, website as well. So if their price changes are auto stock issues, those will be automatically updated in your store once you have that setting turned on. It's on by default, um, so I do recommend you leave it on and not turn it on. All right, so that's basically all the Oberla app works uh, as it relates to adding products to your store. When you have orders coming in from your Shopify store, um, they will show up in your Oberla app um, dashboard and um, it will show some information here. So you can basically, with a click of a button, process orders once you have your credit card inputted. All right, so it's pretty simple, guys. And um, if you're actually drop shipping from AliExpress, any at all, uh, to Shopify, you need to have the Oberla app installed. All right, so um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys so you guys can get it installed if you want to, which I do think you should once you're drop shipping. Um, it's not an affiliate uh, app, any at all, it's totally free. So you can even go ahead and search for it yourself. All right, so that's basically how a barrel works. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward and easy to use, and it makes dropshipping from AliExpress super, super simple. So um, if you're dropshipping from AliExpress and you don't have the Oberla app, you're basically wasting your time. All right, so go ahead, set up your Shopify store, uh, get the app installed, and start uh, your dropshipping business immediately. As you can see, you can start Shopify for free, you get the Oberla app for free, Everything is basically free to get started with a drop shipping, Shopify drop shipping business. So that's it for Oberlo. That's it for this video, guys. I will leave all the links in the description. Um, thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you really did appreciate this video. And I will see you in my next video.